This was a list that Rachel put I, to how to improve Joe without no. offending him. No, this like, isn't. Let's make up a list and we'll talk about all of the attitude issues that Joe has, but we'll do it in a way where he doesn't think I'm talking about him. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and every Monday we go live on Keto Beyond the Couch because life exists beyond the couch. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So recently we did a live stream for the opening of the Chow Club box and then that part of the live stream was getting cut off so that we can leave the Chow Club box up. And we started talking about our November focus. Yes, this round 11 of the 2KK Fight Club is you versus your attitude. Definitely something that I need to keep in check. And so during the live stream, I kind of shared five different ways that I know my attitude needs a alignment. Happy November to everybody and a great big happy birthday to all of our November babies because it's not just John Paul and Peyton who have November birthdays. There's lots of November birthdays in our Facebook family and in our Mighty Networks family. And, and happy birthday to you if you are having a November birthday. But yes, we are in round 11 of the two crazy ketos 2kk fight club this year the whole theme for the year was a fight for our life and there's some things that we have to do as a contender in this fight of life to make ourselves more ready for each round and for this month it just felt really natural to make the focus of november you versus your attitude and that is definitely something people a lot of times think, well, you seem like a sunny type of person, Rachel. That does not come naturally to me. So I, I have to be extremely intentional about positivity because I am naturally bent to the negative. And I would tell you years ago, I would classify myself as I'm not negative. I'm a realist, right? I, I mm semantics. But um so I know that my attitude can get out of alignment and I actually wrote down a couple of reasons, five things, five, five signs that my attitude is in need of alignment and I was interested to see if this resonates with anybody else or if it's just me. Okay. Okay. So number 5. I know that my attitude needs an alignment if I'm willing to plant gratitude, but I'm not willing to weed out complaining, grumbling, or fault finding. So sometimes I can be like, yes, I'm so grateful for this. But when it's time to weed, like I will plant gratitude, but I am planting it amid, like in the midst of grumbling, complaining, like I'm still growing my complaining. Like if right. I'm grumbling about something or I'm a little bit spicy about fault finding, I'm still fault finding. Like right. if I can, if I can look in the room and say like, you know, the Christmas lights, I'm the, I used to be this person that like, Hey Clark, the twinkle lights are not twinkling. Used to be. Yeah. <laughs> Again, this is when I know my Used attitude is out of alignment and I need to fix it. Right. As if there's grumbling, complaining, and fault finding that seems to be weeds. Right. Do you ever struggle I, with oh, that? I, I'm very much, I can be super happy, but I'm always like, but, and again, nothing matters after the but, right? Right. But I, um, I, I definitely can be super in a, in a very content, happy place, but also figure out what's wrong with my life and, and yeah. even in the situation that we're in. So it just, that is something that I have to work on. I can even find that in this, in the triple B and E challenge, it can be 
you know, a problem, I have to check myself before I wreck myself, is I can be fault finding in other people. I'm really good at that. If I am like upset about something I'm having to do. Mm -hmm. So like if, if you're like, hey, I'm trying to minimize soda right now, like, or eliminate it for this time in your life, you could all of a sudden be that person that's like, let me just talk about like all of the terrible things about people who drink soda and will never give it up. Oh, like, no. See, like here, a self-righteousness. Here's my problem. And I think this is a problem in the keto community. Um, and we try to really wait, weed it out in like our Facebook and our mighty network. But it's hard. It's but, challenging. Um, I am definitely the kind of person that if things aren't going right in my life, I'm mad at anybody who's got the right thing okay. going on in their life. For example. Wow, that's so, good. So, hey, I want to drop 10 pounds. I know I'm eating appropriately. I know I'm not overeating. I know I'm not eating too much fat. I'm not eating too much fuel. Now, I do know what my problem is. My problem is my sleep. But... I will be like that and, and then I will look at, I don't know, my children who eat sugar and be like, this this isn't fair. Right. Right. I don't eat any of that stuff and I can't drop the 10 pounds that I want to drop that I've been fighting since COVID. And yet they're eating like dumpster fires. Like <laughs> at least let them weigh 500 pounds. I don't mean, I don't want my kids to be, but you know, I get that way. I, I don't want them to be unhealthy, but it but angers jealous me that they're getting away with it. That they're getting away with it. It's like, it's one of the reasons I don't watch a lot of keto YouTube. I, I watch specific ones. Usually I'm more into watching things from like Dr. Barry and stuff like that. But we used to like watch a lot of different keto channels. And then I I would see things and be like, I I can't have that. Yeah. I can't I can't do net carbs. If I do net carbs, I'll gain a hundred pounds in, in six months. And I think it's one of the reasons that we used to watch programs like 600 pound life because I can go, at least I'm not that bad. Yeah. Right. And I think that that happens when it's a bad when, attitude, when people jump in and be like, you're not doing it right. I think they're really trying to cover up for something that they're not doing right. And like I, they, they, if they're not, if even if they maybe are like having results, and I think this happens a lot in the carnivore community, mm. like, and I mean the strict, strict carnivores where they're miserable with what they're eating. So they don't want to see anybody else enjoy it. Like if I can't have sweets, you can't have sweets. Right. If I can't have vegetables, you can't have vegetables. And the way I'm going to put that off to you is you're hurting yourself. Right. You know, it's like the amount of emails that I've gotten about our comments on natural flavors in the last few days is it's not like, pretty. And it's like, I'm sorry. I'm okay with it. Is it a perfect scenario? No. But to me, 90% is good enough. And if the worst thing in my life is having natural flavors, I'm okay with that because I can't control everything. It's like I've talked about, like, you know, my mom said, hey, you need to get away from Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is bad for you. You can't get away from Wi-Fi. Even if you don't have it in your house, your neighbor's Wi-Fi is coming in your house. It's in the stores. I do the best I can. So it's interesting you bring that up. So clearly I struggle with this as well because my next thing was when I know that I'm in need of an attitude adjustment, when someone experiences a wind and my first response is, and when is mine coming? If I- I like you rate this list for problems that Joe has no, to address his I am attitude. Tell, I am telling you, like this is for me. I feel because like this is a subliminal, like I'm going to fix Joe's attitude. It's, it's not, but I do think that I'm getting a vibe from you. That's like, you probably do need to work on your attitude a little bit, but like I, but that is a challenge for me as well. Like, I think that's a challenge for everybody. So at least we can get on the same page that, okay, it's not okay. Like we should be cheering for other people. We should be super excited when somebody has a breakthrough and we know how hard it is to, to lose weight and to gain health. And when somebody does have an experience of success, man, I want to be the first person to cheer them and be happy for them. I do not want to have this thought in my mind of like, great, when's my success coming? Like right. as soon as I start 
having that thought, it is time to get an attitude adjustment. Wait, let's hit some of these comments. Yeah. Quick. Carrie said a great Corey. quote from Ray Willie Hubbard. The days that I can keep my gratitude higher than my expectations, those Ooh, are really good news. That's that good. is an excellent quote, Corey. And Paulita said, I think there is a point when trying for perfection becomes a prison. Oof. I agree. That'll preach. Okay. Okay, so my next one. How do I know when I need an attitude adjustment? I expect an extraordinary response to ordinary efforts. <laughs> Like the fact that I'm only having one coffee experience a day, there needs to be a ticker tape parade, okay? I don't want just an attaboy. I want, like, why are the kids not why coming I in pounds with confetti? Like, yes, if you have not eaten cheese since October 15th, you should have lost 50 pounds. Like, that is how it should work, right? It's just how it should work. I, and that's it. I I am not going to lie. There have been times over the last six years. Yes. Where I momentarily said to myself, I might as well just not eat keto. I'm not having like, I'm, I'm not having the weight loss that I want or whatever it may be. So I might as well just eat like everybody else. Now it, it's a momentary fleeting thought. But, because I know the repercussions of not eating the way I eat. I know that means going back to a handicap sticker. I know that that means um, being back on medication. I know that it means high blood pressure. And But like in that when moment, you're only looking at that scale, mm -hmm. I get back to it's not fair. Right. Right? Yeah. So, that's okay, good. Next up. Um, oh, JJ says, found a pair of pants in my closet that fits this morning. Haven't worn them, worn them since 2019. JJ, awesome. that is flipping awesome. Okay, so another way that I know that my attitude needs an adjustment, I start frequently using words like everything, nothing, always, and never. <laughs> It's my whole vocabulary. <laughs> right? Like, this never works for me. I always fail. Nothing ever goes right. Every, everything, everything is awful. Like, that's how I know that I have gotten into the weeds of a bad attitude. Yeah. Like, everything is this just, like, hyperbole. Like, I, I will, like, eat and then, like, let's say have a slice of keto cheesecake. Get on the scale the next day, which I have no business being on daily. Eat that and be like, oh, see, right. everything. I, I can never enjoy anything good. Meanwhile, there's no way you gain five pounds overnight. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Okay. Next one. Uh, actually, this is the last one because we've been through five. That We blew through that fast. Okay. So this last one's very important though. I know that I need an attitude adjustment when peace isn't my priority. I just want what I want. I don't care that my body is saying something like, ouch, these onions are hurting my stomach. I just want to say, just give them to me. Because basically when you think about disease, that is dis-ease. That is your, your body is not in a state of peace. It's not in a state of ease, right? And I find that my attitude, even in relationships, my attitude needs an adjustment when peace is not a priority. Peace in our marriage allows me to let things go. I mean, Lord knows when when you are not prioritizing peace in a relationship, you're like, it's all about, did I win the argument? Did, am I first place when it comes to being right? And it's the same thing with my eating. If I am not prioritizing peace, like right now with triple B and E, all joking aside, there is peace in my body. There is nothing inflammatory. We've gone out to eat the next morning. I didn't regret anything. There's no bloating. I don't have headaches. I don't have any type of like skin issues. Like we feel great. There's peace in our body right, right now. It's a great thing. It's a thing that we should want to have and hold on to. But when my attitude is sucky, I can stray into, I don't care. 
I just don't care. I, I need you to know I'm right. I want my way. I need my stuff. Just give me the things. I don't care if I'm going to feel like terrible after this. So I know that when I get into that thing like YOLO, just give me what I want, that my attitude is in need of adjustment. Yeah. Is there any other thing that you think of that you associate like, I know I need to change my attitude when? No, I think I think you've covered it because what this list really was, was this was a list that Rachel put I to how to improve Joe without no. offending him. No, this like, is Let's a make up a list and we'll talk about all of the attitude issues that Joe has, but we'll do it in a way where he doesn't think I'm talking about him. But yeah, because you hit like every one of my problems. I, but And I didn't know what was, was on me. the list. This, this list was really just like, let's work on Joe. I love you so much, but I can tell you, I honestly, honestly, totally, being an honest child, my mom used to say that, being an honest child, are you telling me the truth? I am being an honest child. I did not think of you at all. Maybe I should think of you, but I did not think of Which you at worse? all. I, I didn't think of you at all. This was total, like, me thinking about where I need to straighten out myself. Let us know in the comment section what kind of attitude adjustments you need to work on. So Carrie said, um, I have a non-scale victory on the 30th of October. I passed my computer test. Way for to go. Awesome. Congratulations, And now here's Carrie. a good attitude because he said, I haven't had a breakthrough for a job in it uh, it will be there. I oh, in IT. Yeah. yeah. So you're you've been waiting for a breakthrough, and you have hope to believe you will actually see your breakthrough come to realization. That is the attitude that you need to have. That is awesome. Uh, Sarah said, "I'm trying to do better with sleep. Also, trying no electronics in That's bed. Awesome. I get up super early to get my son ready for school. I also want to go to bed at the same time as my hubby." Not enough sleep. Yeah, that's my problem. I'm I'm telling you what, it's it's it was a game changer for me for sure. Uh Susan said Monday Monday was a rough day. My company did laughs, but I did not lose my I, I did, did not, not nose dive into the way to go, go Susan. Awesome. That is awesome. So okay. I know I accused you of making this list for me, but overall I think it was eye-opening that there's some things I need to work on for my attitude. Well, it encourages me when we discuss things in community because I stop getting so hard on myself that I'm the only person that has this challenge, right? When we talk about it openly, it allows us to face the fact that everybody is human and there is room for improvement and then we can start making improvement. Now, I really do like the idea of pulling out a section of the live stream and making it its own video. So let us know down in the comment section with some of our live streams going forward, if we have a lot of questions, should we go into the live stream and pull out four or five questions and break them off into their own video where if somebody wants to see certain questions, like they don't have to watch the hour long live stream on replay, they can just go watch that video. Let us know down in the comment section. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent videos I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon in that way every single time we discuss stuff. You'll be alerted to Till it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.